Hi there, Henry Smith here from IamWorkingRich.com, where we're talking about how to understand the given money and play it well. Welcome to today's recording. Thanks for joining us for Cryptocurrency Portfolio Update, where I update a cryptocurrency portfolio on a daily basis, something I've been doing since, um, for almost a year now. So let's, um, before I do, make sure you stay to the end of this video, because I always talk about something of interest, could be the market, mindset, or some strategy, or something. Now, also understand that I'm not a financial advisor, I'm not a financial planner, so we only do diligence, we only research, and also do not invest more money in crypto than you can afford to lose, because there are risks. With that said, I am going to share my screen and do the update of the portfolio. So here we go. This is a spreadsheet I use, and um, it just started, well, it wasn't started, but when I started doing the recording, it's about 106,000. But um, over the year, it has grown. So that's um, got three main columns. The first column is uh, altcoin, we've got Bitcoin, and we've got uh, totals column. And the green, green is one of the markets moved forward on the previous day, red is when it's been backward on the previous day. So we've got green, green and red, green and red. These start to form a bit of a pattern, which can be used for analysis. And indications. So anyway, let's come down to where we are today. So we have had uh, pretty red days in the altcoin. So we had a, a very powerful red period in the Bitcoin, but in a minute, mini turnaround, but not not so much. But the portfolios generally been down um, 1,400, 1, 10,000. 850, 2,406 in total. That's quite a bit. That's no problem. It will recover. It always does. So let's look at today's date. It's 10th of January, 2021. And I get the figures from this page here. This particular portfolio consists of one whole uh, Bitcoin and a selection of specially selected altcoins or alternative coins apart from Bitcoin. This is the total. This part is in US dollars. This is in British pounds or still the same portfolio. And this is the percentage split between the two asset classes. So let's take this figure here. And this actually updates live every 24, so maybe 10 minutes or so. It usually comes in from a live feed into this asset group and we get the final figures here. So anyway, let's have a look at the, um, the figure here. 152,197 or three. Okay, so it's the time down the UK. I forgot it now, the figure. 152,197 or three. 152,197.03. So that is um, minus, because it's gone down again, minus nine, 1,955. That's the Bitcoin, uh, the total figure of just 194,007. 194,007.60. Yeah. So that is. Um, Looks like it's down as well. Down 1,900. Bitcoin. Bitcoin is up 44. Okay. So we've got the altcoins down 1,955. Bitcoin is up $44. And the total portfolio is down 1,910. So that's the way things are today. And that's fine. That's okay. Let's take a close look at the markets. But uh, the market right now is um, is um, one thousand nine hundred, sorry, one point nine trillion worth of um, the crypto market, and there's the, you know we're down on the the, the stochastic RSI, the RSI, and the, even the money flow. So it looks like the market is about to go up a little bit. But um, because it's down, we could go down a bit more. Could closer look at Bitcoin, which is the um, which 
Bitcoin continues to show a downward spiral. And in fact, looking at the Garcian channel, as I said, it, it has actually touched 39,558 today. So it has um, reached this white line briefly. You can see the wick. You can see the wick has actually breached it slightly, but when the, if the body breaches it, that's when it's a big uh, it's a big deal, and it may be going to the next white line. But if it can hold this as support, the body can hold this forty thousand as support, then uh, we've got it's got a chance of not going down to this. I mean, for me personally, that makes no difference. But for others who are bullish, they don't want to see this happen. For those who are bearish, they would love to see it happen. And uh, so, you know, this Gaussian channel normally acts as quicksand. It has done for the past, you know, 10 years, more than 10 years of history. Whenever it goes into a Gaussian channel, it always goes down under it and then comes out. So it's gone in, came out, and then gone in again. And um, that was, so this is the second time in, in the Gaussian channel. And um, we're looking at, is over 235 days here yeah, spent in and around the Garcian channel. So from 16th of May to, to here we are right now, this is a five day chart, just you know, about 235 days. So it has gone in and out of the Garcian channel. And like I said, this channel is very, very powerful. Whatever it does go into it, it does tend to get sucked down into it as it shows in history. Um, there are just many, so many points in history where it gets sucked down. And sometimes even under the tunnel. Yet to do that, but don't rule it out. It, it did it last year and, and it could, you know, this could be heading underneath the tunnel temporarily. It's always temporary, but it could be headed there before it decides to go back up. And then it has to penetrate the orange, red, and green before, before um, yeah. And in fact, what I really now kind of need to use is change these round, these colors round. Um, I should make this orange, put it on the way back up make this red so basically it's got to penetrate red orange and green before it can you can say it's, it's but before that it's got probably got to, it may probably visit the second white line as this first white right line was drawn it's this is the first and second white line may visit this third white line and then maybe even this orange line um, I don't think it will go down to this level, but if we can hold this this middle white line here, it may not. We'll just have to watch and see. Um, the golden, the, the, the um, death cross, which is showing, uh, which is just days away, basically, on the one day chart, because. Um, Bitcoin has gone below the 50-day moving average and also the 200-day moving average. So they're, they're scheduled to cross in a few days, somewhere around the 14th of January, based on the what it's doing so far. And um, even if you were to do a two-day chart, which has actually got a lot more confirmation it shows that we're still heading for a death cross and that could be in the 18th of February. This is just the dotted lines are projection of where the market could be heading if we continue with this trajectory. So interesting thing also the N NVT actually turned white. If you see me do it on this uh, video, these video series I've talked about the NVT from time to time and when you get a change in color, you, then you get a major turn. And it turned white, you know, around, I would say, the, well, this is short. It was really the beginning of, um, this is a one-week chart. So between the 27th 
and the 3rd of January is when it turned white, which, met, which indicated, you know, we've got a major, a major um, change in the direction of the market. So the market has definitely gone downwards due to, due to that change. And so, um, and even the, um, this indicator is still showing a very strong uptrend, um, sorry, very strong trend in the downtrend. So this red on top shows it's a downtrend and this yellow shows how strong the, the trend is. So it's pretty, as it's pointing up, it's pretty strong. So it's very far away from, uh, they're very far from away from meeting each other, the green and the red. So there's a while before you can expect things to turn around. So when they come up and meet again at a swap over like this, like they did here, then you'll get you know, a bullish period. But right now it's extremely bearish and uh, it's bearish and extremely bearish. This, this, this just shows uh, bearish, the red on top, but this shows extreme bearish. So, and with the MVT white, it's a downward trend at the moment. So, those of you who are traders now should know how to position yourselves. Those of you who are investors should know. Basically, you know, as the market goes down, it's a great opportunity to pick up bargains. And uh, you may be able to get Bitcoin at an even better bargain. But I um, hope you like this kind of content. Um, this is just some basic elementary strategies that I use, but obviously we use a lot more advanced strategies than this. And like I said, the way I'm particularly positioned, this doesn't really matter whether the market goes up or down. I'm positioned to make profits either way. So I don't really get caught up with uh, Bitcoin not hidden 200,000 as people are expecting. It will eventually hit it, but when it's good and ready, not when people want it to hit it. So anyway, if you like um, this content, and later if you want more information, you can dive into um, more complex uh, algorithms. For example, uh, this, I'm not gonna go too far, but this talks about different way times to buy and sell and um, we, we can talk about that if you, if you want more information on that. Let me know in the comments. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bitcoin has already taken a massive detour from this upward corridor. So we'll see where this will lead, whether it will lead further downwards before it starts going back up, or whether it will create a complete new corridor. Nobody knows for sure. But uh, if you like this kind of content, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit the notification button. The, um, again, the, both, all, all of the indicators are downwards, ready to point upwards. Money, it seems like a little bit of money might be flowing into it. Although, like I said, it showed, looked like, like a lot of money dropped out of Bitcoin and just a little bit of flow. And that's, some people have bought the dip. Let's show some people buying the dip. And these are the successful investors buying the dip while people are running scared. So um, again, we've got that turnaround hook showing that it could be pointing upwards. So if, if it moves upwards like this, there could be a light, slight upward of um, price upward, upward direction in price action. But we we shall be cautious. Um, anything is not to try and turn the market. I think a lot of people learned a lesson this time around. Anyway, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Visit our website, ironworthyrich.com. Link below the video. And I want to thank you very much for your time in watching this video. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.